The technical glitches that marred Facebook's market debut a week ago cost one company a fortune. You lost $30 million because of this. Knight Capital Group lost $30 million. Tom Joyce, CEO of Knight Capital, says the Nasdaq exchange, knowing it had problems, never should have opened trading on the stock. It led to a debacle. A debacle? It was a debacle. It was a trading debacle. For nearly two and a half hours, from when Facebook began trading about 11.30 to shortly before 2 p.m., traders everywhere could not get electronic confirmation that they'd bought or sold the stock. NASDAQ was telling you nothing? Nothing. Knight Capital, which facilitates trades for big and small investors, believed it had sold millions of Facebook shares at about $42. When the information came back to NASDAQ, they told us, in point of fact, we had bought at the issue price. By then, Facebook's stock price was falling, and Knight's traders scrambled to dump its shares. That's how they racked up the more than $30 million in losses. I have heard rumors in the industry that the loss is in the neighborhood of 100 to 200 million dollars. Citadel Securities lost up to 35 million, and UBS and Citigroup between them reportedly lost another 50 million. How did your clients react to this? Well, as you might imagine, the reaction was somewhere between frustrated and angry. Tom Joyce says his company has never had a loss like this. It was, I would say, the worst performance by an exchange regarding an IPO that I've ever seen. Knight Capital is considering legal action. NASDAQ officials said this week they can't promise customers they'll be fully compensated for losses due to its system failures. Anthony, thank you very much.